it's J Dog, you know. And we back with Tales of Arise. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we at the point. Probably with no return. But we at the end. Not the end. I mean, probably the end. I don't know. I believe it's the end. Nearing the end, at least. Nearing the final battle. We gotta go to Rena. I mean, that's what I thought was gonna happen last time, but it was actually a lot of story to get through. But now we at that part, and I think I just gotta go back to the ship. Um, we know about the um the red woman and all that shit. It's a whole, it's a whole fucking group of them. And one of them want us to put a stop to this shit. Like we got, we got a lot of info, but we don't know everything. We don't know why the um astral energy from planet, the spirit of Rena, basically is doing this shit. Hopefully, they will figure this shit out. I hope it's not one of them shits where it's just doing it. And we never find out why. I can see them doing shit like that. Hopefully, we find out why. And we gotta say Shion. We gotta save Lenigris, Lenigris, and then, uh, and we gotta get a happy end. That's all I'm worried about. It would appear that our Helganquil host really has fulfilled its end of the bargain. You know what that means. Time to go to Rena. I guess this means we should give that warp drive a spin. And Rena's is just Danins. That's just crazy that the Helganquil created. We're part of the same race. That shit's crazy. That was a quick trip. Yeah, this planet look horrible. There's nothing here. This weird ocean we're surrounded by just stretches out everywhere. Oh shit. Is this weird really ocean? where the hell Danquil come from? Is that the fucking astral water? I don't sense even a trace of astral energy. This world is dead. Then this must be the hollowing. You mean to tell me this whole world, the entire ocean is that stuff? That's what I was saying. And it's covering everything. The entire planet. This is what the Great Spirit does. After it depleted this planet of every last speck of astral energy, it went after Dana. So arresting, this world of doom. Back in its day, Rena was probably just as vibrant as Dana is. But after being robbed of its astral energy for so long, those days are gone and past. This is all that will remain. So the Great Spirit took everything. It stole energy not just from living beings, but the land, the sea, everything. Spirit bombs. And it that's, bound the Helgan Queen in servitude until their whole world was nothing but this. And by the looks of it, that's how it remains to this day. A world of death and emptiness. With nothing left here to consume, the Great Spirit turned its sights on Dana, looking for another host. But why does it want the energy? You're saying if we don't stop it, this is what Dan is going to look like? Probably worse. We can be sure that even these few remaining remnants of Ren and life will not be spared in the end. If the oblivion and darkness both Shion and Naori saw comes to pass, nothing will survive. It looks like we can climb down from there. Let's take a look. Let's put a stop to this bullshit. 
Rena destroy remnants. So this is Rena. This is where everything began. Yet it's a dead world? I won't let Dana suffer the same fate. Ever. This shit look horrible. A hollowed ocean as far as the eye can see. What do you think would happen if we fell in? What do you mean, what would happen? You'd drown, wouldn't you? Come to think of it, I don't believe I've heard of someone ever trying. Perhaps you'd like the glory of being the first? Nah, I'll pass. This is essentially a world-sized Renan graveyard. Are you proposing to disturb the dead slumber just to satisfy your curiosity, Law? No, because I said I passed! Taking an interest is understandable, but let's not forget where we are. This place deserves our respect. Looks like we're not going to be hearing the end of this one for a while. You'd think I was already snorkeling in it or something! So the idea is to seal the Great Spirit inside the Renes Alma using the Sovereign and Maiden's power. But just how do we do that exactly? I'm guessing it won't be as easy as holding a spirit channeling ceremony at our leisure. I already had wielded astral energy once three centuries ago. As for suppressing her thorns, Shion's had a lifetime's experience. The problem isn't just our enemy's strength, it's that it's sentient too. And you can bet anything you like, it's not going to just sit back and let us destroy it. No, it's in other words, we need to find some way to weaken it in advance. The Great Spirit, that is. Back when Shion's thorns flew out of control, we were able to deal with them directly. If this is their host, they should be even more corporeal here. If that's the case, it should make them easier to attack at least. And if we can manage to divert enough energy away from the spirit's core, even temporarily, we might just be able to weaken it enough to steal the Renis Alma, which we can then use to seal it away forever. It won't be easy, but it's our only shot. Time to buckle up. Question for you. Let's say, knock on wood, everything turns out for the best. Uh -huh. What'll the world be like? Is that what you're asking? Yeah, I mean, at the end of this, do you really think everything will be that different? A lot will have to change, that's for sure. The world will have to adjust to so much. My only worry is if those changes turn out to be merely skin deep. What do you mean? It's well and good putting an end to Ren and Rule. But if it just turns the tables, it's all for naught. That's true. Just as bad if the Danans started pressing their own. Renans, Danans, Astral Art users, mages. The world is full of labels used to divide and separate people. If only we could see differences like that for what they are. No different to someone having a musical talent or being good with their hands. Not differences so much as characteristics. It will take someone in power to set an example, but with time, people will follow. And then, perhaps one day, there will no longer be any need for the example. It will have become second nature. That's where we come in. We can set the example. Imagine it. A world where magic and astral arts are used to help people. Where that's the norm rather than the exception. Yeah, you're right, Rinwell. Why wait for somebody else? We can show them ourselves. System. It's a big ass shit. There's some over there too. Look at that shit. Siphoning this shit. How I activate this? Oh. Looks 
Looks like we've warped into that pit of astral energy. I wonder what Helganquil civilization was like at its zenith. I can imagine that'd be something you'd take an interest in. There's no question it must have been advanced, like none either world has ever seen. We could surely stand to learn a thing or two from such a people. I get that you're itching to delve into its history, but we've got bigger fish to fry right now. Put a pin in it, and you can do all the research you want when you retire. I can think of worse things than a retirement dedicated to research. As for whether Rena is amenable to an aging specimen... It's a little early to be giving it serious thought just yet. A man can dream, though. A man can dream. Oh, we didn't say there's anything wrong with dreaming. In your case, Dohalim, dreams have a habit of spiraling into something else. You'll need to stay with us for now, though. You're too helpful to let retire. Why do I feel this is less of a compliment and more of an ultimatum? Just a friendly suggestion. Hey! Hey, I just realized something! What? Is this about dinner last night? I didn't realize those ingredients were off. What? what? No! I mean... Wait, you fed us rotten food? Rinwell, the point. Hmm? Uh, oh, yeah, right. So I was thinking about those armored soldiers we've seen. There are regular Renans inside them, right? Yeah, they're designed to make whoever's wearing them stronger. At least, I think that's the idea. Right. So it kind of begs the question, then. Why are they made so huge? I don't know. Makes them more intimidating, I guess? Or maybe all that tech wizardry inside takes up a lot of space. You don't think it's weird how the armored soldiers are the exact same height as the Hell Ganquil? Can't say I'd ever noticed it till now. Yeah. And? Connect the dots, Law! Okay, let me get this straight. You think the armored suits might have originally been designed to allow Renans to work alongside the Helganquil? Huh. But if that's true, what would that mean? It would mean... just that, I guess. But still, <laughs> don't you think it's kind of interesting? Not... hugely? Hey, Kisara, well, I've got you. What's on tonight's menu? Because I was thinking, maybe meat? Get him, Hoodle. Ah! Ah! Oh! 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 What did I do? Oh, now you want to listen. Keep pecking, Hoodle! Ah! Ow! 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 Seriously, what the hell? You know, guys, when you think about it, we've taken out a lot of Zoogles. Like, a whole lot. You can say that again. If one thing's for certain in this world, it's that wherever we go, we'll always end up bumping into them. Isn't it weird that they're still so plentiful? You don't think the Renans have, like, a ranch where they breed them, do you? Certainly in all of my years, I've never heard of them constructing such a massive facility on Dana, let alone up in Lenegas. The only thing I can think of, then, is that the Feral Ones must be reproducing on their own. There's also no organized effort on our part to hunt them down, so it's difficult to fully exterminate them. Exterminate them? Whoa, don't you think that's maybe a little harsh? What do you mean? Zoogles originally used to be living creatures native to Dana and Rena, right? Being genetically modified isn't their fault. You're right. Zoogles were only created because of us Renans. We altered the original creatures to suit our own ends. First people made Zoogles, and then we let them go. And now we're trying to kill them because they're a threat. They really have only seen the very worst, huh? I hope we find a way to be able to live side by side with them one day. It's a nice thought, but they attack towns and cities. What else are we supposed to do? Aside from the strays that have gone wild, it's worth remembering that Renans are able to keep them somewhat under control. If we had distinct territories that didn't overlap, that might reduce the danger they pose. Well, I guess when you look at it that way, maybe people and Zoogles aren't so different after all. Now we gotta save Zoogles too? Shit. Save Zoogles. Three 
you, hmm? Helgan Quill. Guess they don't need their red woman disguises anymore. Wait, can you understand us? It's no use. We're not going to get through to them. So they really are being controlled. In that case, we've got no choice. I knew there was something off here! They're not pulling punches. We have no choice but to beat them at their own game. Charge away! Charge not in your dreams! I waited too long. Rotis behind! Look sharp! Take down! Coming through! Ha! Smell! Scarlet Inferno! Did the wrong fucking one! Falling storm! The enemy wields arms too! You'll soon see about that! Do it! Astral energy! Go! A flawless victory. Great salary. Keep still healing. Watch now. Demon descent. Blasting fang. My turn. Falling storm. Front. Radiant. Hurricane storm. Mega ray. Neon. Astral energy. Full throttle. Go! Alfin. I can't forgive them for what they've done, but I hate killing them. They don't even know why they're fighting. How does that even make them any different from the Danon slaves? Perhaps. However, if we don't make a choice, the guilt of not doing anything will be that much worse. Yeah, I know. I hate for it to be like this. But if it happens again, you won't find me hesitating to act. I wonder if we're going to get attacked again. Pretty sure we are. If we lose heart now, this whole mission is over. Shit we have to stay Zubles. the course. Shitload of Zubles there. Not there. I'm gonna switch something. Um, take that off. Let's go. Right, here goes. Strike. 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 The time is 7 o'clock p.m. I think we can get through this. Don't let us coming through! I literally just disabled this. Scarlet Inferno! My turn! I'm not done! 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 We managed to pull through. Yeah. Did I not save it? Yeah. I thought there'd be more dirt and rocks and stuff underneath the hollowed ocean, but it's all artificial. I would imagine they're remnants left behind by the Helganquil. Seeing as there's little actual land remaining. It's incredible. Do you think it stretches all the way down to the center of the planet? Hey, these guys built Lenigus, remember? They probably did this in a weekend. If they had the power to create things like this, did they really only use those immense capabilities to serve the Great Spirit? Or rather, was that the only use the Great Spirit let them use their capabilities for? We haven't seen anyone here except Helganquil. 
Looks like this place really is their home planet. The true citizens of Rena. What a shame that they have become nothing more than puppets to the Great Spirit. To think of the promise their accomplishments once held. They had the potential to be great indeed. Do you think we could have got along with them? You know, if we had met under different circumstances. Like... Like all of us, you mean? I suppose it's difficult to say for sure. We don't even know if they would see us as being on an equal level with them or not. I think we may have had the chance once, before the Renan Great Spirit came along and... changed everything. You and Alfin both share an optimism. A strong willingness to believe in hope. <laughs> Do you think that's foolish? On the contrary, I should like to take a leaf from your book myself. In tragedy's aftermath, hope is all we have. Just look at the size of that thing. And how Ganquil's technology certainly is impressive. And they don't seem to do things by halves, either. In the past 300 years. No, oh, even before that. Just how many people, Renan or Danon, do you think have ever seen this? Regarding the past three centuries, at least, I'd say there's a good chance that we're the first. Also, while I get that it's impressive and all, I'm just amazed you're still standing around gawping at it at a time like this. Sometimes I wonder about your priorities. I can understand where he's coming from. More to the point, does anyone know where it leads? What do you mean, where it leads? To the center of the planet, of course. And that doesn't strike you as sounding just a little bit, oh, I don't know, far? There has to be a quicker way to get there, right? Yeah. With all this technology at their fingertips, it seems pretty unlikely that they'd make that kind of journey on foot. There must be some kind of device somewhere. Let's see if we can figure out how to use it. Borrow one of their contraptions? You're either brave or out of your mind. If it works for them, there's no reason it wouldn't for us. Why make things harder for ourselves? You know what he's like, Law. Once he gets an idea in his head, there's no talking him out of it. I mean, it ain't that far from that energy. Wait, is this the right one? Yeah. Is this a dead end? It appears this whole room functions as an elevator. That apparatus there is likely what's used to control it. I wonder how the Renans avoided being mind-controlled like the Helganquil. Do you think it might have something to do with the fact that they were originally Danans? I'd say it's likely. Which is pretty ironic when you think about it. Ironic? The Renans have committed grave injustices against the Danans. But it was all of their own volition, not because they were being controlled. Now, it turns out they themselves were once Danans too. Which must mean that the root of their evil isn't the Great Spirit, but something inherent in all of us. Our free will. Now hang on, though. It was that same free will that allowed Xion and Dohalim to choose to fight alongside us. Without it, we wouldn't have been able to beat hatred and forge all those connections we've made. Free will is what saved us, right? Law's entirely right. In any case, it certainly can't hurt to look on the bright side every now and then. Yeah. Where there's hope, there's a way. Help! What'd he say? He said, without a doubt. Oh shit, a battle order. Matter? <laughs> Where did they come from? Less worry, more action. Concentrate. You're finished. You're mine. Action. Your wings will save you me. from me. Glacial coming for you. FT airborne. Down low. Sounds like a job for yours truly. We managed to turn the tide. For now. But things could shift at a moment's notice. You're right. Better stay alert. This one's mine. 
watching over me. That was a fight. That was a motherfucking fight. Even in such a harsh environment as this, there are still creatures here? You think they're native to Rena? Or could they be Zoogles somehow? Whatever they are, they're dangerous. Watch yourselves around them. Yeah, most likely Zoogles. You think that pit stretches all the way to Rena's core? If that's true, then if we go down, we should find the Great Spirit at the bottom. We could get there even faster if we simply jump down instead. Yeah, let's do you that. You sound alarmingly serious when you say that. Oh, shit. Nah, fuck y'all, bitches. Nah, you know what? I'll fight y'all. Out of our way! It's still doing this bullshit. Scarlet Inferno. It's at a five feet. I owe you one. Blue escape! Burn! Here I come! Falling storm! Make it rain! Reload! Astral energy! Full throttle! 
Well, am I improving? Tremendously. The speed and precision of your aim is simply unmatched. I... I had no idea you were watching me so closely. <laughs> yup. Can't keep his eyes off you. Let's fuck it. Oh. Am I gonna fight? Okay. Oh. So I could just walk. This is some bullshit. No. Scarlet Inferno. Here's no the Do it. No escape. Go for it. Prepare to crumble. Think we overdid it? Not a chance. Not by a long shot. Storm. 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 Annihilation. Rising Falcon. I still gotta wait. I. Oh shit, a battle is coming. A boss battle will take place. Actually, I can save on the first one. All characters is up. Actually, I think I want to switch it up. Take out her. Put in Doha Lane. Take out Rinwell. I think put Brin out there. Yeah, we gotta switch. She young gotta stay, and Alfin gotta stay, obviously, because that's who I use. She young gotta stay because her healing is the best. So she always gotta stay in my party. Though he he he's a healer too, but she young is better, way better. What do you think this place was for? What, Red Woman? Oh shit! Her ganku up the ass. What the hell? Are they asleep? They're being no. created. They appear to be well preserved. However, they are all dead. Dead? So this is a, a mass grave? A graveyard? Looks that way. However, none of them appear to be Helganquil. Wait, what? Bear in mind that Renans were originally Danans, who were remade and sent to live on Lenigus. Knowing so, that, they would have needed a place to perform the procedure somewhere. So these are all Danans? And that place is here, Dan I assume. Danans? So what you're saying is that all of these are Danan, or rather, Renan bodies? Most likely, yes. It must have been abandoned for one reason or another. There are so many of them. They were all taken away, but never given the chance to wake. Shit. I've seen something like this. Before, what was it? Mass Effect? Yeah, it's Mass Effect, the end of part one, when we in that Prothean place when we saw all the dead Protheans. Yeah, that's what it's reminded me of. And I was recently playing that. Oh, okay. It's a big motherfucker. What the fuck? Multiple faces? What is that thing? A creature? Something we have to fight if we want to get across, it seems. Yeah, let's kick his ass. Be and careful. Show him what it's like. It's huge! To fight a group of Renan and Dannons working together. Wow. What is with all the things you're wearing this lately? I no ordinary dude. Oh, that shit. much is damn sure. Watch yourself. Shit, that big ain't supposed to, to this jump. 
Ultra's weak spot. All those faces, my. Oh, you can't even switch it. That freaking does it. What level is this bitch? I forgot how to check. Oh, level 55. His head is weak points. We'll need to. Yo, how are we supposed to bring it down somehow to hit it? In that case, let's start with the one in the middle. You fight the ugly one. You fight the ugly one. I'll fight the ugly one. Which one's the ugly one? On your knees. Ignite! Eat this! Radiant Gear! I never miss! You know what you get! You'll finish! Glacial Spear! Pierce Evo! Oh, he down! Get that bitch! Oh, automatically. I don't know why you said. Never see what I can do. The power of water. Eat this. No further. To be left. Stay still, kids. It don't work on me. I'll finish you here and now. Eternal devastation. No chance. No escape. Orochi Fury. Orochi Fury. Yeah, you can heal me, but I'm gonna use a great gel. I'm ready! In an instant! Such unadulterated fury. He almost dead. Here's a healing strike. First aid. Let me help. Rending you apart. I'm on a roll now. Alright, you got under 25% left. Well, I won't go quiet! Finish without a turn on! Denied that bitch. Looks like this one's mine. Like hell it is. The armor won't save you. That'll bring you down. Oh shit, oh shit. That was some shit right there. Y'all saw that? Shit took a lot. I'm gonna need more of that mess. Eat dirt! In a bind? Keep running! First aid! Here I come! I'll save you! Ruin escape! Measure the storm! Orochi Fury! All good things come to an end. Start up! Then it is too light. Sorry, I didn't want to put you out. What are friends for? We can't depend on one another. You're right. I'll bear that in mind. Thank you for the healing, Dohalim. Our comrades need our ability to survive. Let's see what I can do. No one is dying on our watch. Resonate with the earth. The last mine. I love that one. That's like one of the third time I got in this entire game. Third or second. What was that thing? 
Probably something that was made here and somehow managed to survive, even after all this time. Not that there's any way of knowing now. <sighs> What's wrong? Oh, I just suddenly found myself contemplating what might have happened to the sovereigns that were meant to emerge from the crown contests. Oh yeah. What do you mean? They was all you sent see, here. The winners of the past crown contests were all strong astral arts practitioners. Furthermore, that enemy we just fought appeared to be composed of several human bodies. It was certainly nothing one would find in nature. You're was saying that? those were the remains of the winners? That they forgot who they once were? I'm merely saying it's a possibility. That's absolutely gruesome. How long had the Helganquil been at this? It was Rena's great spirit that made them do all of this. Anything to get its astral energy. <sighs> We're not gonna jump down, right? Um. I certainly hope not. After hearing Dolan's suggestion, I'm honestly not sure what to say. I assure you all, I was merely stating the possibility. <laughs> so, looks like the Helganquil have been engineering Zoogles too. Why doesn't that surprise me at this point? The creatures we've been encountering here have been a little different to what we're used to fighting. But I'm pretty sure they're Zoogles too. Do you think they were engineered using creatures native to the area? Indeed. However, based on the current circumstances, I would guess these Zoogles are all that's left of the planet's fauna now. You mean... there might have been native owl species here once upon a time too? Every great RPG needs to have a animal companion. Right? I mean, I could jump. I mean, I can't, you know what I mean? I would like to. I gotta check around the back. I'm gonna see up here. Is the final battle gonna take place here? Or is something gonna happen and it goes somewhere else? I kinda feel like this is not it. This is not the final battle. I feel like something's gonna happen. You know? I don't know. I'll find out soon. Possibly next. I feel like it's gonna be a scene when I transform. Miga. in that other room? Did the teleporter fail or something? Something feels off about it. Look! Everything's upside down! The furnishings are at least. No, you're right. The whole room's flipped on its head. So what was once down is now up and vice versa. I suppose the teleporter reversed our orientation then. Fast travel part. Oh, I can fast travel. I could go back. I could go back. I could just get the fuck out of Dodge. That's cool, so you know what I'm gonna do? Three just. I shouldn't have done that one. In case I want to go, I reached the point of no return and I could do side quests and shit. Alright. This might be the final. I don't know. I probably was able to uh, fast travel the whole time just to and check it. But I know earlier I wasn't able. 
I guess this is the flip side of that pathway we were walking on just a little while ago. While ago. This is crazy. Who knew such amazing technology existed? Everything's topsy turvy, and that's all you can think about? Bear in mind, the core of Rena now sits above us. I pray that we won't encounter many stairs along the way. That's a big bitch. Why? Retreat if you know what's good for you. You're mine. Burn. No escape. Let the marksmen handle this. It's over. This is gonna need all of us to get into the healing arm. Try harder. Go for an end. Go for the weak point. Sorry, You do the same for me. Freaking dumbass. Take this. You shouldn't have messed with me. Uh oh. All about to get in. You roll my brain. I'll crush you! Not long. Lightning reflexes! Tenebrous claw! This is so Watch this! Uh, the simply in Oh, fuck. No! 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 That killed me? Why you following me, bitch? Watch this! In a bind? Healing! I'll crush you! No, I'm not fucking around. Tenebrous claw! It's like that. That's like the second. Third. Thanks, Kisara. Do it! Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! We can really make weapons with this? What are those? Thorns? They look like Shion's thorns. And with flowers, too. Not real ones, though. They're just like that flower growing out of Rena. We must be getting close to the Great Spirit now. Hey, Rinwell. What was that thing you said? About how a little bit of Dana's Great Spirit is inside all of us. Right. That's why Dana's Great Spirit is so much more... diluted. Weak, even. Whether it was a choice so it didn't overpower others, or just the way it is, is anyone's guess. If that's true, then wouldn't it mean Dana's will could never form under natural conditions? Yeah, sounds like that's probably the case. So if Dana exists within all of us, then what if something occurred that brought everyone's hearts and minds together as one? That unity could potentially act as Dana's will. You mean if everybody was, like, thinking the exact same thing at the exact same time? Come on, there's no way we could pull that off. I know it's a long shot, but it might work. Let's assume that's even possible for a second. Would it even be enough to fight back against Rena's great spirit? If nothing else, it might be an option if we can't use the Rena Salma. Things are different here than on the surface. That shows how deeply we've ventured into Rena. And how close we've come to the real enemy. So here's a question. We came all this way to Rena on the assumption the Rena's almost here, right? Mm -hmm. Don't. Just don't say it, Law. Yeah, but I'm just saying... She said don't I say said it. I said don't. I can understand why you might be concerned, Law. But you need to remember that there are people it affects more directly than you. Shit. <laughs> oh, sorry. 
We've managed to make it this far believing. Losing faith now won't do us any good. We're better off focusing our anxiety elsewhere. Such as? The Great Spirit. If Hedrecht 35's to be believed, our enemy won't just be handing over the Renus Alma to us. At least, not without a fight. Not only that, but that same enemy just gulped down more than an entire world's worth of astral energy. Hmm. Duh, point taken. It may be strange to say, but when I'm fighting, or at least know what needs to be done, it helps me a lot. I don't doubt myself as much. So thanks, both of you. Don't worry, Law. If there's a way to win, I'll find it. <sighs> the floor's on the ceiling and the ceiling's on the floor. This whole thing's making my head spin. Why would they even do something like this? The Helganquil can bend life forms to suit their will. Nothing they could do at this point would surprise me. The ceiling is on the floor! That doesn't weird you out? What good is a team made up of members who all share the same opinions on everything? And besides, when you get to be at my ripe old age, one begins to consider it quite uncouth to show one's true local. emotions at times. Oh, come on, Grandpa. You can't be that old. The sands of time wait for none of us, lad. Yeah, we'll see. Though at this rate, I guess I'll have to live long enough to get as old as you first, huh? You will. And when the time comes, I look forward to hearing you change your tune on the matter. Crazy. <laughs> Am I on a roll or what? 
Well, look who's in a bright and shiny mood. Something telling me this ain't even it. Yeah, see. That's probably for hot class equipment. But right now, I just wanna go with this motherfucker. Run! This motherfucker coming. Now we coming. We coming for that motherfucking spirit. The king of spirits. Oh shit. It's over there. A world of death. Death. Shit. Shit called death. Hit it once, show us death. I really do want to skip past all these enemies. Let's see where I gotta go. Zoogles here are putting up a real fight. That just goes to show how important this place is. Or perhaps they simply thrived freely here under such harsh conditions. I don't give a damn why they're here. We'll burn it all to the ground. I. Right. So I'm about to go down. The astral energy here is so dense. It's like trying to walk through water. I know the Great Spirit's will is in the center of Rena, but with the world in this state, the entire planet has oh, become shit. its body, what right? See, so doesn't that mean we're Renwell. already inside it? I would say that is horrifyingly correct. Renwell. After all, the further we climb, the denser the astral energy becomes. Oh. <sighs> What's the matter, Rinwell? Are you not feeling all right? No, no, it's nothing like that. It just feels like the energy here is a little more intense than it was before. You mean Rena's energy? Yeah. It's like when I made contact with Dana's will in the wedge. It's almost as though I can understand what Rena's will is thinking. But Rena's will is supposed to be a lot stronger. Aren't we risking the great spirit controlling us if we interact with it directly? I don't think we have to worry about that. Renna's will is only supposed to control true Renans, like the Helganquil. If we can discern what the Great Spirit is thinking too, we might learn something, a weakness. But just to be safe, let me contact it alone. Oh, Are you insane? Renwell, you're gonna... <laughs> Renwell! Why did you do that? I know you're trying to be helpful, but this... This could backfire. There was only meant to be one world. And your goal is to make them one. One planet for both. Is this fear? So he trying to destroy 
Damn it. Greenwell! What just happened? Are you all right? Rinwell? Rinwell, are you okay? No, I'm... I'm fine. I think... What were you thinking? You could have gotten yourself killed! He's right. You had us all terrified, Rinwell. I'm sorry. I really, really am. But... but... I know now! I know how the Great Spirit thinks! I know what it wants! How it feels! Brenna's Great Spirit wants to complete the world! What's that supposed to mean? Are you saying it's trying to make something? Yes, exactly. Originally, Dana and Rena were meant to be one world. But that never happened. They've stayed separated, and the Great Spirit wants to finish the process. What do you mean, one world? How is that even possible? I don't know, but its will is clear. That's what the Great Spirit is trying to accomplish. No. The only problem is that since Rena's energy isn't evenly spread like Dana's, it seems like it'll vanish before that happens naturally. So it's trying to absorb Dana while it still can, so that it can force the two planets to unite. Is that what you're saying? <sighs> the Great Spirit is scared. But it's not scared the way a rational person would be. It's more raw and undiluted, like just pure fear. Like an animal acting out of instinct. Although admittedly, an animal would be easier to communicate with. At the very least, I have my doubts that it recognizes us as sentient beings with a reason for coming here. Earth, water, fire, and wind energy exist in both worlds. Full great only nations darkness was and light peace. can be found within Rena and Dana, then respectively. The Renis Alma, as far as we know, the only host capable of harvesting the astral energy, is composed of all six. Knowing all that, Renwell's findings do sound plausible. That sounds a lot like Xion's thorns, doesn't it? The whole reason the Great Spirit is trying to unite Dana and Rena into one world is in order to save itself. And if her thorns are part of the Great Spirit, then they must also... Be trying to save themselves? Alfin, what is it? We thought the only way to free your thorns was for you to die. Yet despite that, they seem to be doing everything in their power to stop that from happening to you. Something wasn't adding up. But then I just realized something. If the Great Spirit doesn't want to die, then neither would your thorns. Those same emotions, that fear, that determination, and its energy must have been the same thing that was keeping you alive. You were its vessel. In that case, is that why her thorns caused so much pain to anyone who touched her? Because they were trying to protect themselves? If that's all true, then... Well, it's more than a little ironic. The Great Spirit merely expresses its desires. I imagine it was the Helganquil who were likely tasked with putting together and implementing an actual plan. So what does this mean? Xion... I'm okay. We need to hurry and clean this mess up before it gets out of hand. Still, even if the current state of the world is wrong like you said, does that really make everything okay? If the world had been whole from the start, as it should have been. There'd be no Dana and no Rena, no masters or slaves, no lords, no crown contest, maybe just peace. Ah, uh, yeah, this shit is getting crazy, and I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna end it here. Yeah, we gonna end it here. No, we not. We gonna we gonna watch the script. To think, all this started because of the Great Spirit's desire to keep living. The only reason it craves energy is because it's dying from starvation. When you think about it like that, maybe the things it's done aren't so strange after all. If Rena had been more like Dana, things would have worked out a whole lot better. It's like Heverick Thirty Five told us. The Danon and Renan spirits are meant to be completely different beings.
Rena's energy amassing in one place led to its developing a powerful will. But that also made it crave energy, sapping Rena dry until it perished. Whereas Dana's energy is dispersed, meaning its will never developed to the same extent. And without that hunger, Dana the planet was spared. As for which is correct, well, I'm not sure it's our place to even say. Still, I can't help but think it reminds me a lot of the dichotomy of the human condition. Dichotomy? What do you mean? Those who know not satisfaction are driven to keep devouring without limit. But those who are content with their lot in life rarely fulfill their potential. I imagine it's likely that the larger Rena's great spirit grew, the more and more powerful its hunger also became. Everything in moderation. When all's said and done, maybe that's the hardest thing for people to learn. Alright, now I'm gonna end it on, and we're gonna pick it up here next time, because this shit is getting crazy. Uh, I do think we are, we definitely are nearing the final battle. Shit's about to get, get fucking crazy. Alright, till next time, this is J-Dog, and I'm out.